forever. And stop and think for a minute. The number of movies, TV shows, especially right now, we're being flooded, inundated. Uh, notice Spock here with his Masonic sign. Okay, uh, you know what he is? Spock is a hybrid. His father was a Vulcan, the, the god of fire. Think about that. And his mother was a human. Okay, Spock is a hybrid, and the Star Man. The star that falls from heaven, mates with a human woman, produces a child, is going to be a great teacher, is a hybrid. V is all about the hybridization of mankind, mixing their, their alien DNA with human DNA. The, the TV show event. Notice the E's. Notice the V. Notice the E's here. They're facing opposites. The, the, and it just didn't surprise me as I'm going through... Uh, and I've pretty much quit watching V, and I'm probably going to stop watching the event here before too long. I get it now. And once I get it, I don't need to find out everything there is to know about it. Um, but it's about the hybridization of mankind. These aliens, all this, every, it seems like now every story with an alien in it, the alien has got to be hybridized inside of human beings. That's because it's a, it's a replica of what we see in Daniel chapter 2. They shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. Uh, here is a uh, here's the technology of how it could happen. Micro robot programmed with DNA directions. Um, a tiny robot made from strands of DNA could pave the way for many machines that can dive into the human body to perform surgeries, among other futuristic applications. What is one of those futuristic applications? The ability to precisely control the robot's movement means this approach may work for transporting pharmaceuticals or other materials in the body the researchers said what are they trying to they said basically we're trying to we're using these little tiny dna robots so that we can manipulate something directly into the human genetic structure one of these pharma, pharmaceutical companies just happens to be called isis notice her logo there the all-seeing eye pyramid the mandorla Isis, see, there's a spirit. There's a spirit. I'm going to show you that spirit here in a little bit at the end. There's a spirit that is working all of this. And I know who she is. I know what her name is, too, by the way. Here's another one. Making cells on an assembly line. A chip-based method to churn out cell membranes could aid the development of novel proteins and synthetic cells. It's We're learning... We're, we're learning how to do what the devil wants us to do. Remember, he's not all powerful. God showed me this yesterday. I remember going back to the All Seeing Eye video, and it dawned on me that the devil can't see everything, so he's building a network. The devil cannot recreate people. So he's building the technological foundation. I believe scientists... These when, when you have a pharmaceutical company that just out of the blue names this, they were playing Scrabble one day, oh, look, ISIS. Hey, let's make a pharmaceutical company called that. It's not how it happened. Spirits are at work. They are building the governmental framework. This is why Gaddafi has to go. This is why Operation Odyssey Dawn has to be implemented on a certain day. They have to build the political infrastructure. They have to work on the financial infrastructure. It's going on right now. We have to build the technological infrastructure. Mankind has to learn enough to be able to do this for the devil. You see, God doesn't need us doing anything for him and for his kingdom. He's done everything for us. It's the opposite. The devil needs us doing everything for him. And, and I don't mean to ridicule, and I don't mean to sound mean, because we just pick up phrases and we, we sound right. People say all the time, oh, I'm doing this for Jesus, or I'm going to do this for God, or I am for God. I, you know, we are, we are, uh, we're bicycle riders for Jesus. Okay, yeah, it's okay to be on Jesus' side, but we're not doing anything for him. It's about him doing everything for us and through us. That's what it's about. So anyway, building, ISIS, building a technological infrastructure. We're learning how to make cells, synthetic cells on an assembly line. We're learning how to make robots that we can't even see inside DNA to do what we tell them to do. Spirits are at work, people. I hope you get it. Car companies. 
Okay, we showed you the Mazda logo, the Bentley logo, the the uh, I think it's the Dodge logo that uses the winged sun. Somebody sent me this commercial. I don't sit and scan YouTube for hours looking for things like this. You have to send them my way, and when you do, I go, oh, I get it. I watch this thing. Hyundai has a new commercial out called New Thinking, New Possibilities. That's like next generation thinking. Okay, let's think about what we could be. I want you to I want you to listen. They're going to say things like new thinking is all things are linked together. We're learning that their world is their world is interlinked with ours. I, you're going to hear these exact words in this commercial. I want you to take a listen to it. Hyundai's new thinking understands one thing perfectly that all things are linked. That their world is interwoven with our world. Did you hear it? Their world is interlinked with ours. Did you see the triple helix? Let me show you a clip of it. There it is. Okay? Three strand DNA. Your, your, your two strand DNA isn't enough. We need to add to it. We need to add a third strand to it. The all seeing on top of the capstone. Remember uh, Stanley Kubrick's uh, rendering there in his movie? It's about adding something to what's insufficient. That's what the triple helix is all about. And then that, that final deal there at the end where you see the DNA ladder going from the earth up to the heaven. Okay, that's that imagery there. That is they being linked with us. They took that right out of the scriptures, Daniel chapter 2. They are going to mingle themselves with the seed of men. I hope, I hope you believe it by now. I hope you buy it. I hope you get it. Because that is what's going on. And if, 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 if I can't prove to you by giving you the scriptures, which I think you ought to just believe, I'm showing you all the stuff that's going on in the world right now to tell you this is what's happening. Uh, Genesis 11:4. And they said, "Go to, let us build us a city and a what? A tower, whose top may reach into heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth." Here again, the opposite. God has a city coming down from heaven called New Jerusalem. Mankind says we have to build our own way up so that we can make our, a name for us. Jesus said in Revelation to the seven churches, he said, he that overcomes, I will give you a new name. No, mankind is full of pride. Lucifer is full of pride. We'll make a name for ourselves, buddy. That's mankind, okay? It's not just the devil's fault that this is going on. Man's just wicked enough to help him out. Okay, that, but you get the imagery here, the, the uniting, the symbolism of kingdoms, the, or excuse me, the, the synthesis of the two opposites paired together, the heavens and the earth, the yin and yang, 12 hours of day, 12 hours of night, it's all linking mankind with the stars. Katy Perry. We showed you uh, the lyrics I tried to sing. I, I actually am a little bit better singer than that. Uh, the lyrics to her new song about how she has a boyfriend. Uh, here's a YouTube video somebody sent to me. Uh,